so the training has to go into it. So how how did you train uh, Wiggy? Wiggy Pop. Wiggy. So at first, so the first day that I got him, mm-hmm. it's a very sleepy puppy. You'll see like puppies are just like ba- like new babies, mm-hmm. newborn babies. They just sleep all the time. Mm-hmm. So what I did when like Wiggum was awake, we would throw food in the crate. Mm-hmm. And then once he would step into the crate, I'd say like, yes, like good mm-hmm. boy. And then he'd mm-hmm. come out and then again. So we play that game of like. In the crate, out the crate. In the crate, you get a treat. Like go get the cre- the treat in the crate. Get in the crate now and then you get a treat. Yeah. So yeah, and then yeah, Wiggum was like pretty easy to train in regards to crate. I remember the first night I tried to put the crate in the bedroom. I don't know how you feel about that. Like some uh, people have their dogs in the bedroom yeah. and he was whining. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I, brought, I brought the crate, like took him out, peed, brought the crate downstairs. Yeah. And Wiggum slept through the night from the very beginning wow i think like maybe two three times like early early morning like four Mm o'clock but after that it was just like like i would get up at five to go to work anyways yeah like go to bed at 10 30 11 get up at five so that's like six hours yeah so he was pretty good that 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 he never woke me up in the morning wow yeah that's crazy. Yeah. See, when I got Gibbs, thank God it was the summertime. And I had him in like a pet carrier style like crate at first because he was so small. And um, and then later on, I got um, the wire crate from from a friend. And then once he grew a bit bigger, then we we transferred into that crate. But um, so same thing as you, like I threw food in there and then it became the training of like, yeah, you go in the crate and then you get a treat. But also like um, the... I kept it downstairs close to our patio door only because like I never had a puppy before and I knew that like their bladders were super tiny. And so I wanted him to be right there at the door so that when I took him out of the crate, we could instantly go pee with like no accidents and add carpets in the bedroom and stuff like that upstairs. So I slept on the couch and I can remember getting a pack from the breeder, like when we got the gib gibbs as a puppy and it came with like a little like comfy blanket cozy blanket from to lie on a little like stuffy toy it was a warthog it was his favorite warthog oh. r.i.p warthog he eventually <laughs> <laughs> got totally destroyed and he said he said do what you want but you need to make use of this right out that he's like i'm telling you right now your life will be so much easier if you use this and it was a spray bottle and he said this is for your crate training and because the he's gonna whine at night and when he whines you spray him in the face and he's like in this he's like he's like if you have training or whatever that you want to try or you want to do he's like go right ahead but he's like you will never get on top of the whining like that's part of the separation anxiety i think that they have as mm-hmm. wine runners and he said so if i were you i, I i'd be using this and we give one to every single one of our puppies and tell them this and i was like oh i was like okay so the first night, I have the crate set up, nothing in it, much to my chagrin. I was like, oh, he needs at least like, I wanted so bad to put that little fluffy blanket in there with him. But I was like, don't do it, Heidi. You're humanizing the dog, Heidi. But um, And um, so I put him into the crate and um, he, he started to whine a bit. And I did my like no voice, like, ah, ah, ah. and like, then he kept whining. And I remember Michelle saying, another thing you can do is you can like whack the crate because it makes like a loud noise that sort of like, you know, it's like that uncomfortable feeling like, oh, I need to like shush la bouche. (laughs) (laughs) And um, so uh, I whacked the top of the the crate and I was just and then I was like, oh, my God. And then he started whining again. And I was just like, oh, what have I done? What am I what have I gotten myself into here? But I was like, ooh, the spray bottle. And I had the spray bottle ready to go, but I was going to use it as a last resort because I felt, again, humanizing the dog. Like, I, as, I already felt bad putting him in, like, a bare naked crate <laughs> and then to, like, be spraying <laughs> him with, like, water. <laughs> it's like, this is too much. Anyway, so he started whining again, and I went over, ah, 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 and I sprayed him in the face, and he stopped. And then he slept through the night, got up in the morning. Wow. And, um, I, again, one another thing that you can do just to make – 
the the coming into and the coming out of the crate a lot easier is um that threshold so in the morning when i'd go to let yes. them out that i think you mentioned this on a previous episode too Vero, mm -hmm. is you you open the door and if he tries to charge out you slam it in their face yeah and and then you slowly open the door again and if they try to come barreling out you slam it in their face and then then you wait until like eventually they get it and they sit there and you open the door and they're like, okay, well, I know she's going to slam it in my face if I move. And then like, so they sit there, you open the door, make them sit there for a second, then go, okay. And then invite them out and then go, yeah, good boy. Good boy. And then out for pee. And then yay, peepees. Yay. Yay. yay, peepees, yay, yay. <laughs> peepees, peepees. So yeah. And then, so let's say you go to bed and it's like 930. <laughs> like I do. <laughs> and then your puppy starts whining and it's, 2 a.m. So there's a chance there that your puppy actually might need to go to the washroom. Yep. So when you let your puppy out, don't let them like walk around the house. They'll probably just pee in the house. Mm -hmm. If they're small enough, I would suggest pick up the puppy. Like don't say anything. Don't make a big deal. Pick up the puppy. Take them out. Let them pee. Yay. Pee 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 poo poo. <laughs> yes. All of that. Take them back in in the crate. And then you go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. You don't make a big deal out of like, like going waking to get them your puppy up and or putting them, them back. Yeah. 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 No, nothing at all. Like don't address them. Don't know pets or cuddles or anything. It's like, yeah. like very matter of fact about it. 